coming into the gate right now, and he just reached down and pulled the bridle off of the horse that he rides. Wait, you're gonna, sir, you're going to need this. This is an important part of this outfit. <laughs> that horse is so well broken, so well trained, he doesn't need a bridle. Folks, he keeps his right arm tucked in his belt because it's gone because he lost it to electricity. We call him the one-armed bandit. He is an award winner in pro rodeo, and it's an honor and a pleasure to have him back in Red Bluff, California. How about a nice hello and a welcome to Mr. John Payne. At different eras throughout the country, there have been cowboy heroes. Even before John Wayne. But ladies and gentlemen, we've got a hero a horseback in front of you today. And as Wayne Brooks said that he lost his arm to electricity. It was 46 years ago at the age of 20 that he took 30,000 volts. When they got him to the hospital after the wreck, they pronounced him dead. Within five minutes, they had reestablished life. Friday was his 66th birthday, but he claims only to be 46 years old. And in this time frame that he's been a part of our life, he has 15 times been voted the act of the year in professional rodeo. How do you like my friend so far, everybody? Now, we'd like to introduce you to two beautiful horses. These are Mustangs from South Dakota. They go from the Rosebud Sioux Indian Reservation and they are wild. They'll bite you, they'll try to kick your head off, they'll run over you. They've never been touched by human hands because you can't get close to them. But John Payne will show you that he has a sixth sense when it comes to animals. It doesn't matter if it's a dog, a cow, a steer, a horse, a buffalo, a longhorn steer. When there's wild animals to be tamed or caught, this is the family they call to do the job. Now, as you watch him move them around, it's all about pressure. Put a little pressure on, take a little pressure off. He put that bridle back on his horse. He cracks that whip with the same hand that he rides with. That's the reason those horses have to work off of the cues with his feet. The majestic horse prized and cherished by the Native American Indians was their lifeblood. I will tell you this, anyone who entered the domain of the Mustang had better be bad to the ball. story on that trailer. We have watched John Payne with the Watusi cattle, the Mustang, the Buffalo. But today, I want you to watch him how to prep. When you're looking for wild horses, you got to get you some altitude. And this ought to get him a little higher to find them. He's giving his hat to you. Before I met you. As I said, if there's a modern day John Wayne, you're looking at him a horseback with one arm. I want to be yours, but a baby. Now with what he's gonna try to do this afternoon, we're gonna put one more little piece of the puzzle into the arena right now. It is a stallion zebra from South Africa. Yeah. 
and he is a no good rotten little bugger. <laughs> he is that, buddy. His name is Zorro. The zebra. Now, Wayne told you he's a stallion. He does not want his herd of Indian Sioux Mustangs messed with, and he's gonna do all in his power to keep John away from him. You watch him, he'll kick at you. He'll try to keep him separated. Those horses know they're supposed to be on that chair. Look at him kick. Oh yeah, Zorro, you are a dandy. Well, you're gonna lose the battle today, Zorro. You might as well join them. Yep. What do you say about this, folks? What do you say? Nobody can do what this man does. That is why he is our entertainer of the year. How about a welcome to him, everybody? Wow. When I told you the story about being 20 and dying, 46 to follow, the man has entertained over 300 million people in his career. Yeah, send him out of here, John Boyd. Send him out of here. Brooks, here he comes. He is absolutely picture perfect today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to put him on top of that trailer, and if you own a truck and a trailer, don't try this at home. He'll travel hundreds of miles in parades all across the country and around North America, riding and spinning that bay horse on top of that trailer. He is absolutely amazing, and we are thrilled to have an entertainer of his stature in Red Bluff, California. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed it when he comes around, how about standing up and tell him you liked it today, will you? John Payne! The one arm bandit. Let me tell you, them guys ain't dumb. Maybe get a pistol on your little finger. Maybe get a pistol on your thumb. We got to install microwave ovens. Got some kitchen. Absolutely amazing. Send him out of here one more time, Red Bluff. The one arm bandit. Well, folks, if you like what you're seeing, I want you to know that May 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th, that's a weekend coming up not long from now, that the Tehama District County Fair will happen right here May 2nd through the 5th. If you're here on the ground for the very first time, you now know where to come back to. This should be race number four, the George Sylvester Memorial. You got it. Russ Harmon, thank you for the sponsorship. This is a three-quarter mile race coming your way right now. Our horses are Regalo, Joe, and Bunkhouse. The jockeys, Shelly Smith, sometimes the best man for the job's a woman, right? Yep. Luis Blue and Jose Garcia, the owners of the three horses. Rico Ezekiel. And the last two horses, J.C. Sylvester. This is going to be a good race right here. George Sylvester Memorial, three-quarter mile. Okay, I want Bunkhouse in blue. Bunkhouse in blue, because that's Lloyd Faria's dog's name. Bunkhouse in blue. Well, Taco Bell is about to bring you the team roping. Now, folks, we've got 15 seconds separating the top teams today. It's wide open. But when we get down to the last five, there's only three seconds to separate them. Here we go, St. Elizabeth's. And the Wellness Center, but Taco Bell brings you the team 